These three guys are heading to the recording booth at the Halifax Central Library to make a podcast. It's called Sick Boy, and it's probably not what you'd expect. One of its creators, Jeremy Saunders, has cystic fibrosis, a terminal genetic disease. It's about uh, three best friends, uh, one who is uh, chronically ill and two who are otherwise perfectly healthy. Uh, and we sit down and talk about what it's like to live with disease. But the twist is that we approach it with a really lighthearted and comedic approach. The 27-year-old says talking and laughing about his illness with his wife of four years and his friends helps. I've been living my life thinking, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm dying at 40. It's time to make life, life happen. You know? Saunders says he started the podcast with fellow yoga teachers Taylor McGillivray and Brian Stever to encourage conversation and laughter. Yeah, I'm not going to live long enough, long enough to get heart failure. <laughs> they also talk to guests dealing with serious illnesses, tackling the stigma. Address the elephant in the room and just, and just like get rid of all that crap, you know? Just, just talk to it. Just talk about it. Their 10-minute teaser is in the top new and noteworthy podcasts on iTunes. Deaver says people all over the world are connecting with them. As a listener and as somebody who doesn't suffer from a disease like that, I'm able to rethink of how I'm living my life. And McGillivray says talking about people's experiences is also educational. It's heavy. It's heavy, and we want to we want to we want to get the details out that are going to be helpful for people who are listening but also the, the therapy of laughter when, when, the, when it's appropriate. For Saunders, there's one main point to the podcast. <laughs> laughter or, like, joy is way more beneficial than sadness and, and tears and gloom. Wouldn't you rather find joy in your situation? From this recording booth in the Halifax Library to listeners around the world, Sick Boy Podcast officially launches on iTunes September 19th. Megan McCabe, CBC News, Halifax.